Good day, boys and girls. I trust you all are well and safe at home. Welcome to part two of our introduction to spreadsheet. In part one, we learned how to design a workbook and how to start working with our first worksheet. We learned how to capture data, how to do some formatting features, and how to use two functions, namely your sum function and your average function. Today, we're going to learn a few more functions so that we can make our lives much more easier by using spreadsheets. Firstly, once your teacher has captured all the learners' data, the teacher will also want to know the number of learners that wrote the tests for the term. So below average, so I'm going to go to cell C11 and put on a label there called number in O for short of learners wrote. Okay. Right. In order for you to get one below the other like this, there's a feature here called wrap text. If you do this, okay, and you go and click on it, you'll get your wrap text feature. Then the function for that is equal to, and then count is the name of the function, and you're going to click from the first learner's total to the last learner. Ensure that you do not include the 100 and the 60.2 because that's the maximum total and average total respectively. And the number of learners that I've written is five. Next, if the teacher also wants to find out the mark that was the highest that the children attained, the label will be highest mark. Function to find the highest is called max. So it's equal to max, open bracket, from the first cell of the children's data to the last one. So in this case, it is F5 to F9. Enter. Okay, let me show you that again. So it's equal to max F5 colon F9. You've got two choices. You can type out the cell address F5 colon F9, or you could do what I did, which was I just highlighted. Next, I'm going to show you how to find the lowest mark. So the label is lowest mark. And the function is equal to min open bracket the first cell to the last cell of the learner's data in the class. And it'll give me a value of 46. Okay? Like that, there are multiple functions in which we could use spreadsheet for. Today, I showed you how to use count, max, and min. I'll show you one more today, which is called media. Okay, if I want to copy the formatting of the previous one, so all I do is I click there. If you remember the last previous lesson, I showed you how to use our format painter feature. Click on that and then highlight it. So it copies the styles, and the function for this is median equal to median. Open bracket from the first one to the last one there. Close bracket, enter. Median gives you the middle mark within the data range that you have chosen. Please remember to save your work. Learners, it's absolutely important that you practice this. Please go through your textbook, the chapter on spreadsheet, 
try and do as many of those activities so that you can perfect your functions. Remember, practice makes perfect. I will see you next time in which I will show you four more functions and thereafter we will be starting something exciting, which I find actually extremely exciting, which is doing graphs. See you soon.